Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. What's shaking, bacon? Aquarius, it's time to do your Love Energy check-in for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with me a little bit for September of 2023 or whenever you find my readings because they are timeless and whenever you're drawn to them is when you're meant to find them. Um, I love and appreciate you very much for being here, Aquarius. And if you could return the energy and love that like for me and help get me into the algorithm so we can heal more people. And then subscribe if you haven't already. Set the bell to all notifications because I do go live every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, along with one card for each sign. So come and hang out with me, J-Dub and Ahmad Squad in the chat. Like they're my G.E. Smith and Saturday Night Live band for your enjoyment for the evening. And then Page of Swords throughout all over my channel. Feel free to check out my healing music and my bass covers with Bill over here. He's a Gemini. He's cool. And also I've got some pick a card readings where my decks pick you. See how that one works. And also all of your monthly, weeklies, and lives organized and prioritized into viewing enjoyment playlists for you to binge watch Archer all the day long. So come and be a part of the family and I appreciate you. Leave a comment down below if you like. Let me know how this resonates when we get to the end there. Or at any point you feel compelled to do so during the reading. We are going to look at the energies for you, for the one on your mind, where you guys are at, what's coming in, where it's going, with a nine-card spread, and see what a potential outcome is for you guys. All right, we are going to use my Baba Bui deck here for your base cards with a nine-card spread, and then the Urban Tarot for Luda Grand Theft Auto deck for your clarifiers. All right, Aquarius, <clears throat> here we go. Yeah, I'm clearing my throat for you. We're going to make a nice reading, so you don't have to listen to me sound like that all day. All right. I want to sound like the friggin' the receptionist from Beetlejuice with the go sit over in the corner. All right. <laughs> Let's do it, Aquarius. Oh my gosh, that resonates for somebody. There's an Aquarius who just loves Beetlejuice right now. That's cool. All right. Let's go three times. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Two shuffles. One and two. Let's love this deck for my awesome Aquas. Let's do it, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck is the alien. Oh, Beetlejuice is rising up from here. Look how internally you're going here as you're on the prowl. You're looking inside with the seer energy to the five of pentacles because you had to walk away from someone. You had to go Casper the Silent Ghost, whether you did or did not. Eight of Swords is on that side here. If there is a transition involved in this reading, I do send condolences for you, and we will tap and talk to them. Let's see what's going on, okay? They're here and letting you know that you're always with you, and you're always protected okay your outcomes is here a lot of freaking knowledge knowing everything that's coming and going and a direct tap into the divine your intuition is going to be so on point it's going to be like blowing nitrous into a top fuel funny car dude all right okay so currently we're at the three of wands literally aries energy the full moon in aries at the end of the month and this energetical flow that you are freaking feeling is hitting you right now you're literally on the prowl three of wands trying to take in this energy instead of an in and out energy you're on the prowl three of wands looking for give and take energy no bad and it's creating a focus that's putting you into more of a limelight here prince of sorts see your energy too along with gemini and libra to awaken your crown chakra your third eye your pineal gland everything up here you might even be starting to have tingles in your head or in your hairline and stuff as like your brain is just getting worked it's a muscle it can get there too you know so the outcome from that one is the nine of pentacles your goal or destiny is virgo energy with the nine of pentacles um having everything of yours in order and the table that head of pentacles table set so that the king of pentacles or queen no gender and tarot whatever is can come in to sit down tenth pentacle shows up and you guys go king and queen on everything that's your goal or destiny you want you want some friggin money there could even be investments real estates maybe an aqua that's checking their credit scores and their ratings you know if you're hopping on credit karma all the time there's your credit karma right there there's a reason they named that app that all right so let's go distant fast and let's check it out here okay can we can we look into your account face face verification all right okay iphones do you bleed blue or bleed green let me know down below android or iphone all right <laughs> distant pass king of cups pisces energy and a love that got in the way that you didn't understand or comprehend at that moment here it's like you felt ignored look at how even neptune in here sitting there going yeah where's my trident right you felt like you didn't matter to them that's as things got more recent with the fool card where you needed to start something brand new aries energy right out of the gate to start from scratch on this one here it's it's the point where you had to disconnect walk away and be like all right you do you i'm seeing my way out now okay I'll let you know what's going on with the tower. Right here is where the beginning had to start out of the ashes. The tower card can be good moments and bad moments. 
that are inserted and placed into both y'all's lives to keep things going in the direction that it needed to in this one here as you rebuild from something. Um, in, with money, mind focus on this one, especially there's purple lightning in this one. Maybe I'm with an Aquarius, I've been seeing storms or going through some more as you're, it, or it feels like a storm in the mind is the energy like, like pul booms up, pumps up. What I don't even got a word to describe it, Aqua. You have a habit of doing that to me. You're rebuilding something. This tower here, I don't see as a crumbling tower. This, when I see this card, the first thing I saw for this, when I first got this deck, it was the, um, like the industrial age, like, cause I'm from Detroit. So I saw like, Ford Motor Company's Rouge plants and those steel plants in Pittsburgh, stuff like that, that those late night olds of the sparks flying and just molten metal and that it's just manufacturing, creating from like the ashes from the nothing. See how the black in these cards only having black, how they're tying together the fool to the tower. You're rebuilding new from the past. So it's probably going to be something that done woke their butt up, you know, like living by a factory at 2 a.m. And you can still hear the sounds or sounds of a train going past something like that. But yeah. All right, now your environmental energy is the King of Wands. Aries energy is showing up on this here. That um, the King of Wands is working to become the Emperor, and that's how the closeness is to this one here. So you've got heavy Aries energy coming in on this reading here. The environmental factors around that is Aries energy, the Ace of Wands, and the friggin' Boom Boom Stick shows up. Well, holy my cannolis here, Aquarius, you do know how to make an entrance. You have an energy, even if you don't feel it, that precedes you. And that's the environmental factors around you. This is like the they want you card right there showing up. This is a passion to drive you forward. Black and orange, literally Halloween colors coming out. Your um, inner emotions on this one is the three of pentacles. Maybe Spirit's guiding us with the Beetlejuice reference, the Halloween black and orange colors into this one, that there is um, something more about October or you're manifesting into October. Maybe you're just wanting to read ahead and we're getting like about a three week ahead. Aquarius is like, shh, this is actually an October reading, y'all. Here's a heads up for you. Don't tell anybody. Shh, high Priestess style, right? Three of Pentacles. So maybe we're getting a sneak preview right from this because I have mentioned that right now, since the node shift, we've entered an energetical cycle where Aquarius is like on all signs. It gets deep. It pulls every layer, any energy. You can basically insert the name to protect the innocent at that point. You be like, you can insert the word Cancer. You can insert the word Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo. It doesn't matter. It's like an all signs. It pulls on everything from the cycles. All right, so... Give me clarifiers on this from right now where we're at with the Three of Wands to the Princess of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. Appreciate you. Thank you for being here too, guys. Okay. All right, let's go. Five of Cups. There's the bummed out part that you've been having to deal with here. You're kind of like the moon at the moment. Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Like how the moon just goes void, of course, of course. And then just kind of floats there in a gray area, just kind of, of taking in the energies. Ace of Cups to find this new love here at the moment. That's Cancer energy. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Heavy Cancer and Aquarius energy right out of the gate in this reading here. It's kind of like you, you're, you're floating. And like in the eye of the hurricane, like, like spoiler alert, the end scene in the flash coming out, right? So there's like this energetical hurricane around you that you're watching for three of cups and it's starting to make you feel good. Heavy cancer, Scorpio energy on this one, along with Virgo, Aries as well, still too. But yeah, music could even be involved with somehow in this one here. It's like you're watching for a point, almost like watching the song where to come back in. Okay, is this my point? Where do we get more cowbell? And you can jump back into that. It's like the, the closing scene in the flash, nine of swords. So you might even be up a lot thinking about this here. This is literally music. This is uh, Aquarius up all night playing Caitlin Petty, staring at the ceiling while well, staring at the ceiling, looking for the mirrors and the champagne and the pizza and everything. You, like you feel it all eludes you. You're, you want that cup. It's time to fill the cup again here. And maybe you're worried about being authentic about something like here. But it's at a point where the whole universe stops and listens to you and the situation makes it to an end because you've made it to that point with the the world card. This is the end. It's the end of the deck, the whole completion point. And Aquarius that's like walked up the staircase in five inch heels to freaking get to the top and been like, I did that. I accomplished that. It's kind of like maybe having the energy of looking back on something to go forward with into it. Maybe you're worried you won't be authentic and get the love you deserve. But it's telling me right here, three. it literally was drawn to the, to the three of cups. So Spirit's telling you this is indeed the love you preserve. And when I picked the three of cups, up that princess of swords wanted to come along with it aquarius cancer and literally everything along with fixed energy too leo you taurus and scorpio showing how this comes in here it's it's kind of like you just saw your favorite childhood band or something and after not listening to them for years right and you're sitting there being like wow 
I forgot how awesome playing music was. I'm going I'm to go pull that old guitar out of my closet and just have a go at it. Maybe you're worried about that, like trying to show it off or make a thought or a plan. Maybe you're planning to travel with that airplane up there too. Like, like I'm going to go back into LA and get me a music career or fly to Nashville, see what's going on. And um, like, there's a lot of past due karmic love with this five of cups on the three of wands you're working with that you're you're trying to clear that file out here. I see you feeling like it's time to to fill the cup again here. And you're just a little nervous, but Aqua, you can do it. You can kind of do anything here. Six of Wands. I literally say it here and it comes out here. So you're playing all Caitlin's songs, like her on stage, like the Beatles at freaking Shea Stadium. And if you're worried that like, uh, oh, Archer, darling, I am, we're going to look more like four 40-year-olds in long-haired wigs and black suits than the Beatles. It's like, uh, uh no, Six of Wands. The energy is going to carry you freaking forward. You got nothing to fear but fear itself here. And, dude, you got nothing going on. You're like going to be the real deal mother ducking Beatles right there. I drive a Wrangler. It's ducking. Autocorrect was made for, for Wrangler drivers. Okay? Six of Wands. Victory. Kaylin Petty singing everything, getting that standing ovation like the Beatles standing there looking out at 50,000 people at Shea Stadium being like, we did this. And you are so far ahead of the curve. Look at how this runner on this card is just like there's nobody behind her like she didn't stop for any breaks any stands she's all the way over the bridge at the red ribbon while nobody else is even close to her and i mentioned that this was like an october preview for all signs it's crazy the six of wands is showing that like there's only one runner here but she's the freaking winner because you've just done it out there by getting to that point where you went into the past here and was just like past it ace of swords you cut this stuff out you were tired of feeling ignored king of cups for the fool card that you needed something new see knight of pentacles the swedish shift shows up you just like they didn't care and it got to that point that you felt like that when they spoke you were just listening to charlie brown's teacher wah, wah, you didn't you didn't even care but it is tried and tested and true you guys have a connection you loved each other you were meant to be they were meant to come into your life and everything that happened happened for a reason thank you spirit we're grateful I just got chills from this. This is the reason I freaking love doing tarot. As I say it here about a wish that, that like you guys said, did a four of wands, wish granted to the freaking chariot. Heavy cancer right there. Hold on the gas, no one for going to crash. So yeah, because you're creating this energy and there is a tie between you guys. Heavy cancer energy with that chariot coming out to propel you guys like autopilot to go forward onto this. So it's like, whoa, energy coming in here. So in the past, like you almost became programmed to... To, to accept the gaslighting, to accept the narcissism, the love bombing, and, and like all those big fancy power vocabulary words, right? You know, let's just say gray shit, okay? Gray shit. They tried to make you like the gray shit. Like they were trying to pass this stuff off like it was filet McFrickin' yawn, when in reality, you knew it was, they didn't even have a McFrickin' nugget going on, you know, right? You had to get to the Truman Show point of this, Seven of Pentacles, where you could take no more. And you hit that Truman Show point that you saw the door in the stairwell on the set, and you're like, All right, I'm going to see my way out. Time to be hitting that dusty trail, SpongeBob, right? And and you just kind of walked away, left the door open, hopped in the car, cruised off into the night. 7-7 seven, seven connection comes in, cancer energy. So you got to that point. Where, like, you hit, you were so tired of hearing them saying everything to you about, like, hey, don't worry, I'm good, I got this. I got me an 850 credit score. You know, at first they're feeling that way. Oh, oh, I'm confident Aqua will come back. If it's seven pentacles, Aqua's bummed out. I got, I got a credit score. And then, like, they got a little more nervous under this one, Prince of Cups, as they were trying to manifest everything, Queen of Pentacles, and you didn't, you stood your ground like Queen Elizabeth showing up here at the head of the table, very stable, knowing she's got enough sporks in the pantry to handle things. And then they started getting a little more nervous nervous on the situation ten of pentacles you keep making bank with these two together here it's like they went out and got a loan and then they got a higher interest rate road you somehow there's real estate there's investment there is money there's something going on in this industry with finance and and between the two of you guys knight of cups this got this got to the point this got to the point of the repos and the evictions the smooth talking energy trying to get their way out of a situation any smooth talking way they can because you didn't show back up they're like oh shit aquarius is done this is at the point where they couldn't finance cheese on a friggin' whopper okay right and where where, where you get to the holy gray shit batman it is all over the place we need bigger boots we need taller heels on the boots aquarius ain't coming back we got issues here going on you deflated their ego queen of swords by playing it on the freaking line you and gemini energy that it deflated them like a hot air balloon completely out of gas flat down out 
and you 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 made them you know realize it's 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 the energy of having to do the work you can't skip steps you can't fight fate you know what i mean and they thought they knew you but you surprised the f out of them knight of cups to the queen of swords and like left them sitting here like i thought i knew aqua i mean like this thing's probably smarter but it's it's got a battery you know so it is what it is but it's that kind of an energy of they didn't realize they didn't know what you were capable of in that situation i mean like you know it's what it is you got them in their feels dude so they're feeling it for you we saw that ace of wands already pop you got uh, aries virgo cancer gemini energy leo fixed mutable energy and not many swords there's a lot of everything but the fighting going on see people are grounding out and stabilizing libra season is like the energy that's blanketing over all of this because when the sun's in libra whatever sign the sun is in that's the sun sign it's the it's the sign we project out so everybody acts a little more libra-ish when it gets virgo season they act more virgo with cancer more cancer Leo, excited. you know how it goes it's just a circle all right so let's find out here because right here i'm seeing that they're like just happy to go around in circles but aquarius when they realized you weren't coming back oh we're so grateful thank you spirit thank you grateful appreciate it yes do you see what just popped out they made the choice to come back this is the lovers we don't even have to go back to tarot de marcel days with this one they freaking love you made a choice there's something so different and unique about your guys's energies that they maybe there's an age difference 15 16 years maybe there's maybe there's a race difference religion difference something like that i study comparative religions but it, it, there's you can't i don't care if it's the Turan, the, the bible the freaking torah i don't care what it is in this case this says they freaking want you dude okay aquarius you're hot to trot and they're liking what they see to a point that they're like oh man am i going to be able to keep up with this eight of wands sag energy but it's coming in. Expect communication. This is literally keep your phone nearby you because right now they're just waiting to edit. So it's it's like right on standby coming in here. You've got an offer coming in here that is going to blow your mind. Eight of Swords. Uh, because you started it. You manifested it. This is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini. Gemini energy. Oh my gosh. Did you see what just happened there? You had them that flustered about this, like getting ready to press send. It's kind of like expect the unexpected hyperbole that you're like you feel it but you're unsure about it and like showing up here somehow and it's kind of like like a new a new little start to ai like a new ai software company or a new startup company something like that the sun card leo energy this is where the choice gets made heavy gemini and leo along with aries and taurus and kepi and gemini again in your outcome on this one here is these words dude this is like reprogramming or a software update to a cell phone right that it just it starts working faster processing better it's happiness that comes your way the sun is the center of the universe it's the focal point once once freaking you know copernicus showed up and explained everything a little bit better and we got out of that ego trip that the world universe revolved around the earth then it went going better so this software here boots up it's like taking like a small like penny stock, like a startup company, initial investment in something like it's like buying Amazon in December of 1996 before it even went public, you know, right? And oh, yeah, because Amazon didn't go public till May of 97 as a Taurus as we come full circle with the freaking three of wands with the eight of wands at the bottom Aries in that. That's like literally like Jeff Bezos pulling some freaking Enron 1996 shit going on right there. Getting away with it. Sorry, Martha Stewart whoa jeff a smart man right jeff bezos so yeah that is how you freaking end a reading but whoa what else jumped the kindergarten teacher the prince of pentacles and more energy there three of wands comes around with the kindergarten teacher the princess of pentacles so yeah something about real estate or investments is going to go the distance at this point forward and make you guys happy because we have wound up coming full circle with the three of wands your first card out three of wands your last card out three of wands closing an energetical cycle and getting the point of completion leo comes in for the win you've got heavy cancer with major arcana showing up for a six of wands victory that comes out that the outcome is literally everything when things start moving fast like this fast on this here this is rocket ship emojis going across here because you freaking diamond hits the energy and you did it pretty freaking good right there so what the outcome comes forward to it is the freaking world card that this is literally this is the freaking best card today i don't care what anybody talks about right there because it means you've done it all you passed tests you woke up every freaking again hyperbole power vocabulary coming at you it's like that one thing that one thing you never thought they would do they done did and done did win it and now it's done did over with right and it's like 
she's just gonna be freaking happy sorry not sorry aqua so is what it is right um aquarius if uh if this resonated and you enjoyed it please love that like for me and help giving the algorithm and leave a comment let me know how this resonated because your readings are always completely interesting af to me oh my god totally <gasps> but yeah i appreciate you very much for being here and uh, loving that like we are very grateful for the messages we received thank you thank you very much um yes and please love that like subscribe if you'd like to email me for a personal or extended reading onto this, you can do so at archerastrology at gmail.com. All the links are down in the description in the comments box. Remember to set that bell and subscribe because I go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. And then check out all my playlists because I got my pick a card readings, right, Jeep, where my decks pick you. Check out how that works. I've got some healing music bass covers of Bill over here. He's a Gemini popping out just like that freaking uh, lover's card in your reading, right? And uh, yeah, all your playlists and everything are neatly prioritized and organized for your viewing enjoyment. So um, just come hang out, be a part of the fam. We love the fam jam, okay? So until next time, thank you for the messages, being here and a part of this, and I'll see you next time. Namaste. Peace out, Archer out. Bye. Yeah, Jerry, you know I was going to say it. <laughs>